Hey there everyone, you probably think driverless cars are a really modern technology, but when you're friends with Jenny from the <laughs> AP Archive, you find out differently. And that's what we're going to go and do right now in the video suite over there. Beep, beep. <laughs> there's no driver. You don't do a steering wheel and a beep if there's no driver. Oh. It's driverless. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look, no hands. And no driver for that matter. Scientists assure us that it's the shape of things to come in highway travel. So even then, this is the shape of things to come. It's all done by computerised electronic impulses relayed to the car through a special receiving unit fixed to the front. You know what, I thought someone was driving, but he's in the back seat. Signals picked up from the inlaid track are interpreted by the unit to change the car's course or its speed. It's a little bit bulky, this technology. <laughs> It may seem a bit of a pipe dream at the moment, but researchers say that robot cars may well be in everyday use within 30 years. Within 30 years. What year is so, this? Go back, let's see what year it is. 71. They're 17 years behind schedule. They're way behind. All right, let's go back to another one. OK, farm robot. You ready for this? Yeah. What? No driver? That's right, it's a new automatic tractor. They always start with a steering wheel with no hands, and they're like, <laughs> what? No okay. driver? This seems a bit dangerous to me. In front it has an arm with a guiding shoe, the movements of which are transmitted to the steering gear. It's kind of like those Roomba vacuum cleaners that like just go around the house on their own and like feel yeah. their way around. Like, yeah. But this is a tractor doing it. Yeah, I don't trust it. You don't trust it? <laughs> <laughs> More work on the farm without increasing manpower. Oh no, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> All Jenny's nightmares are coming true. Yeah, it's what? the continuing saga of robot tractors. Oh, they're everywhere. <gasps> oh. Look, no hands. They did the exact oh. same thing. Look, no hands. <laughs> this tractor can work across a field using any of the standard implements entirely on its own. Here the tractor's doing some work too, like yes. it's got a plough behind this is, it. This is better. The secret is a network of buried cables which the tractor follows. It traces its course within an accuracy of two inches. Wow. Look what he's wearing, though. That's not farm wear. <laughs> he's got wellies on. But if anything gets in the way, a safety device of nylon cord stops the tractor instantly. So the safety device is a piece of nylon cord. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, that's quite a good investment. Soon they'll have robot archivists, you know. What? <laughs> All right, now, now we're moving into Uber territory. France. So cool, isn't it? From France comes a brand new idea in car hire. All you do is to go to a car hire agency, in this case the local tobacconist, and pay for a mileage token. The bigger the token, the further you go. Oh, they have things like this, don't they? In America you can just, like, take cars and drop them off all over the place. Uh, oh, look oh. at that design. It's no token, no go. And you're off. Watch out for that cyclist. Oh! <laughs> the idea was thought up by a French cooperative society which works on a non-profit making basis, or so they say. Anyway, you pays your money and takes your pick. And there's a little spot to drop it off. There are those kinds of schemes now, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, they, they have a, like, zip car that yeah. they call it in America. But France always looks so groovy in a movie tone film. It does. And they usually have a bit of jaunty Frenchy style music and these uh, it's cool. French stories, so it's all very cool. All right, one more. I think if robot cars come in, hmm. we should have this kind of safety device on the roads. Introducing the talking beacon. What's this all about? Oh my goodness. The borough of Islington has a fine street safety for children record and Billy, the talking beacon, is doing first class work. Just look at this. <laughs> what happened there? Now then, children, that's not the way you're taught road safety in school. Stop at the edge of the curb and look right. right. Then you look left. left. Look at his little arms. Then right. <laughs> That's right. And if all is clear, straight across. Isn't that amazing? No, you can't go wrong if you follow Billy the Beacon's advice. I don't know what to say. <laughs> his mind is boggled.
I mean, first of all, where can I buy one? You could make one out of Lego, probably. Secondly, that must <laughs> terrify the kids. Yeah, you would have thought so. I don't think the kids are obeying road laws out of, like, wanting to do the right thing or obedience. It's like fear <laughs> that Billy the Beacon is going to come from yeah. the middle of the night with his little yeah. arms. <laughs> Mouth, look hedge. left, look right. <laughs> I, I have to watch that again. <laughs> look at him. I know. That car's moving. <laughs> So they've obviously got like the producer on set and said, drive the car really fast. Jimmy, you jump out in front of the yeah. car. You hit the brake. Don't hit him. <laughs> you hit the brakes. We want it to be as close as possible so yeah. we get a really good shot. Yeah. And then, they got it. They got it. They got the shot. I also love like the clickety clack of like his mechanical lips moving and you can hear them mixed in with the voice. I like his eyebrows moving. That's the freaky bit. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that. He hasn't got, even got his own power supply. No. It's old times. <laughs> Thank you so much for this education in showing how technology... I mean, I think they had better technology back in the day. They did. And I think, if anything, we're regressing at the moment. We are. We are. Back to the old days. Yeah. But we'll give the last word to Billy the Talking Beacon. <laughs> and look... Right! Right. Then you look left... Left... Then... Right, right again. again! That's right. And if all is clear, straight across. No, you can't go wrong if you follow Billy the Beacon's advice. Look, I'm not sure about Billy the Beacon, but The Great Courses Plus has a bunch of great videos on transportation and inventions, like these ones. The Great Courses Plus is a subscription video on-demand learning service. The lectures are taught by experts from all around the world, all sorts of leading institutions. And a subscription offers unlimited access to a library of over 10,000 lectures about pretty much any subject that interests you. Have a look at these ones, for example. For a free trial, go to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash objectivity or click the link in the video description. Our thanks to them for supporting this video.